let us discuss about operations on algebraic expressions what are the operations on algebraic expressions that is addition subtraction multiplication and division they are the operations on algebraic expressions let us discuss about addition of polynomials before going to addition of polynomials we have to learn about addition of like terms first we have to learn about addition of like terms so what are the like terms consider some like terms it is 5x 2x these two are like terms or not yes these two are like terms because these are having same literal factor that is same variable x these are the two literal same literal factor it is x and it is x therefore these two are like terms at the same time xy and 2xy these are the like terms or unlike terms yes these are like terms because here it is the literal factor xy and here it is the literal factor xy so these two terms having same literal factor so that's why these are like terms now how to add these like terms consider another like terms that is uh, 3ab and 2ab 5ab these are like terms because these are having same literal factor ab 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 this is same literal factor for all terms for in all terms so these are like terms now how to add these like terms that means consider addition if you add these terms like this 5x plus 2x these two are like terms what is the sum of these two terms therefore the sum of the two like terms is a like term that is x and so the literal factor is x and to next next we have to add the numerical coefficient here the numerical coefficients are 5 and it is here the numerical coefficient is 2 into x then 7x the sum of these two like terms is a like term that is equal to 7x understand at the same time consider xy plus 2xy first we have to add the coefficient the numerical coefficient what are the numerical coefficients here it is here the numerical coefficient is 1 plus either numerical coefficient is 2 1 plus 2 and we will get the same literal factor that is xy therefore 1 plus 2 is equal to 3xy so this is also a like term so if we add two like terms we will get the like term that means it is having the same literal factor the resultant value that means the sum of the two or more like terms having same literal factor so it is also a like term consider these terms 3ab minus 2ab plus 5ab these are all like terms how to add these like terms first you have to consider the coefficient numerical coefficients minus 3 minus 2 plus 5 and what is the resultant will be resultant will be the like term that means it is having same numerical factor that is ab 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 5 is equal to 6ab it is a like term therefore the sum of the three, two or more like terms is a like term the coefficient of the resultant is the sum of the coefficients of the all like terms okay so what is the rule for the addition of like terms the sum of two or more like terms is a like term whose numerical coefficient is the sum of the numerical coefficient of the given terms this is a numer numerical coefficient it is the sum of the numerical coefficients of the given terms okay in this way you can add the like terms consider another example here 3x square minus 4x square plus 6x square these are all like terms because it's having same literal factor 3x square minus 4x square. first you have to add the numerical coefficients 3 minus 4 plus 6 and what will be the literal factor here it is x square okay so the coefficient is 3 minus 4 is minus 1 minus 1 plus 6 is 5 x square it is 5 x square so the coefficient here the coefficient is 5 it is the sum of the coefficients of the given terms 5 is the sum of the coefficient numerical coefficients of the given terms and it is say having same literal factor therefore this is also a like term so if we add two like terms two or more like terms you will get the like term the coefficient is the sum of the numerical coefficient of the given terms okay this is the like term 
this is addition of like terms addition of like terms now we have to learn about addition of polynomials so consider some polynomials like consider two polynomials like 5a plus 3b minus c at the same time and another polynomial 6a minus 3b plus 4c okay these are the two polynomials now how can you add these two polynomials first arrange them these two expressions in rows like this 5a minus 3 and these are uh, the terms of the each polynomial should be in alphabetical order or descending power of the same variable so here we have all are the same having the same power it is one the, the, uh, the degree of the polynomial is one the degree of the polynomial is one therefore we have to arrange them in alphabetical order that is 5a minus 3b minus c next we have to arrange them in rows like this this in this way 6a 6a minus 3b plus 4c this is the right direction but sometimes we are not right like like this 5a minus 3b minus c plus 3b minus c suppose 6a is given here but if you write 6a minus 3b plus 4c it is not right because the like term should be in the same column the like term should be in the same column like this these are in the same column like term should be in the same column and they are in the same order they are in alphabetical order and the, these expressions are in the rows and the like terms are in the columns same columns okay now how we will add these things so the arrangement is over first step what is the first step here first you have to arrange them in alphabetical alphabetical order or in descending powers of the sum variable descending power of the power of the same variable here we have we have written descending power not in descending power it is, we have written alphabetical order so this is the first rule and second one the polynomials are arranged in the form of rows such a way that the like terms occur in the same column then combine these like terms column wise first then 5a plus 6a how much 5a plus 6a five first you have to add the coefficient these are like terms then first you have to add the coefficients 5 plus 6 that is 11 and what is the literal coefficient here little factor here that is a 11a and first you have the numerical coefficients in this column so in this column what are the numerical factors numerical coefficients those are minus plus 3 and minus 3 how much plus 3 and minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore 0 into literal factor b that is 0 so it is 0 next what is the another like term that is minus c plus 4c these are in the same column now we add the literal coefficients what are the literal coefficient here here minus 1 plus 4 how much minus 1 plus 4 is equal to minus 1 plus 4 this is minus 1 plus 4 how much 3 so plus 3 is the highest term is plus 4 therefore we get plus 3 into c okay this is the value of this is the sum of these two algebraic expressions okay so these are in the rows like terms arranged in rows and like terms occur in the same column occur in the same column third term is for then you can add you can combine the like terms column wise combine the like terms where are the like terms these like terms are in the column so first you have to combine the like terms that means first you have add these like terms then we will get the sum of the two all polynomials consider another example here another example that is 3x square minus 2x plus 4 this is an polynomial and 3x square plus 5x minus 1 this is another polynomial what are the first step you have first you have to add the 
to polynomials. What is the first step? You have to write in alphabetical order. So this is same variable here. Here it is a say having same variable that is x. So you need to write in alphabetical order. Okay, now we have to write in descending power of the same variable. So it is having same variable. What is the descending power here? Square x square second power two and power one power zero. So first you have to write in descending order like this: x square minus two x plus four. Now arrange them in rows and like terms occur in the same column. Arrange them in rows. The second should be in the second row and like terms should be in the column. Same column plus five x. These two are like terms. Plus four minus one. Here the minus one. So this is the arrangement. Like terms are occur in the same column. Now add these two terms. You will get first. You have to add the coefficient numerical coefficients. Six three plus three six and literal coefficient it is x square. Now add these numerical coefficient minus two plus five. How much minus two plus five? That is equal to plus three plus three x four. Plus four minus one. How much? Plus three. This is the addition of two polynomials. Consider another example like this: four y square minus six y plus two and minus y minus two y square plus four. This is another polynomial. How we will add these two things? First, you have to write in descending order because it is the same variable. First, you have to write in descending order. That is 4y square. So it is having power 2. Now we have to write in descending order. Now what is the next one? 6y plus 2. Now arrange in the second polynomial is should be in the second row and like terms should be in the same column. Now what are the like terms here? 4y square and can consider another like term here in this second polynomial that is minus 2y square. Write minus 2y square. Below the 4y square. Next, what is the like term for 6y? That is minus y. That is here, and this is a constant term. This is a constant term. Now add these things. First, 4 minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 numerical coefficients. That is 2y square minus 6 minus y minus 7y plus 6. This is the sum of these two polynomials. Okay, condition. These are the condition for the addition of two polynomials, two or more polynomials. In this way, you can arrange two or more polynomials, and you can add the column like terms in that column. Thank you.